to record. Okay, perfect girls. So are there any questions regarding your website or do I need or shall I move to my own, let's say flow? How does it look? D does anyone want to have some uh, update on your own website? If not, then I will just move with my flow, let's call it this way, because um, I'm preparing the uh, presentation for next week for inevitable hotel success for um, website optimization. And it means that um, there are plenty of new things I would like to share with you. And this is one of the most crucial, let's say, um, aspects of the website and how to optimize it. So before I will move on, I would like to welcome everyone who is joining live on the social media. Hello, guys. My name is Radka Teličková. I am guiding hoteliers around the mainly uh, Europe um, when it comes to hotel success. So I'm teaching the hoteliers how to do the revenue management, how to, um, you know, how to uh, implement direct booking strategies, how to do the pricing strategy so you simply are having a better result. It's a um, quite interesting journey for me because I'm doing this as a part of my consulting company already 13 years and in a hospitality I am since like professionally since 1999. So um, this is how we gonna move. Let me just do a little technical part and then I will be able to move on and show you what is actually on my mind. So here I am. And then I just need to change the view. Yes, here we are. Okay, so the recording uh, for everyone who is going to watch the replay is going to be much pleasant in this way. Okay, good. So as I mentioned, uh, op website optimization is something what is very crucial for us to definitely see a better conversion on the website and to see success in direct booking strategies. So if you are the hotelier who is simply wanting to have more direct bookings, it is quite important for you to balance distribution, to take care of your costs as well. And if you do have loyal clients or you are on the way to build the brand and loyalty, then it's really crucial for you to make sure that you simply have the right booking engine tool. And I'm not, I will be not talking about the concrete brands. I will be looking at, you know, I will be giving you the details about what is really crucial. And I will be showing this or showcasing this on the mobile. Then I will be sharing my screen and I will then guide you what I find um, how the let's say, reservation process should look like for a client to make a booking, because we have been going through few clients and their Google Hotel Analytics um, um, details. And we have seen that uh, there is more and more hotels um, with um, reservations which are coming from the mobile more than from the desktop. So this is why I have decided to do it everything today from the mobile. So you're gonna see the small screen. You will be uh, looking inside my uh, mobile, but I would like to show you the two examples. This will be two hotels. Uh, I have chosen two completely different hotels in the different cities. There are the hotels in Germany. There is, I have been staying in one of the property. In that second one, I have not stayed yet. Let's see how it's going to look like in the future. But in the first one, I have stayed. So I have to tell about this hotel that it is, uh, let's say, fully checked in, self-check-in uh, process. So everything is going online, even, you know, coming into the hotel. You don't really need to go to the reception and you do your check-in. You, you know, you, um, have, you have also the key cards. You can program it on your own as soon as you are arriving to the hotel, you know, scanning your... Uh, passport and stuff like that so it's like self-check-in hotel and it is the process of the reservation should have a same let's say experience as you will experience as soon as you are leave, uh, you know coming to the hotel and when you are actually leaving so the process of making reservation including the self-check-in and self-checkout process should be very easy 
for the self-check-in hotels, it is very important to simply get the reservation paid and guaranteed prior to arrival. So this hotel, for example, is charging immediately the booking uh, fee. So it means it's like an airline. You would like to me, do you want me to secure the room? Okay, the reservation is here, pay for that, and it goes through the, uh, through the booking engine and the process is completely done. <clears throat> so I'll tell you to the two German cities, uh, two booking engine, um, and then you will see how the things goes. I will be maybe commenting about the revenue management, some pricing strategies. The first insight, I have not been visiting those hotel websites quite a long time. So it will be quite kind of new surprise what is on those websites as well, like new because there is winter season coming in and let's see how, um, you know, the presentation has been changing because the content on the website should be also, um, let's say updated and new according to the season, if the season has a kind of influence on you, especially when it comes to the new content, it's very good to have always a new content because of the search engine, because of, you know, that you show the Google that you are simply, um, you know, taking care of your website and there is new and new content coming in. So therefore, in when it comes to the organic search, it is simply being accepted that there is a fresh new content and your website is going to have a display a priority in comparison with other properties, which are simply maybe not touching the content on the website. So let me um, move on. So I'll just need to do the whole thing in the end in uh, my mobile. So then I need to go for share my screen, start broadcasting. Okay, here we are. Welcome to my mobile and we will go to the website. So there is a hotel, which is called Liebes Beer. I will try to hide the, it's not really happening. I cannot hide myself on the top right corner, but it doesn't matter. So first of all, for the, conversion and maybe getting the people to the website is very good and it's always recommended to have um, inside the Google to be able to see more details about the property, reviews and maybe also the pricing. On a mobile the pricing is not visible as on a desktop version okay unless I would go to the to the Google Maps. But it's very good to have the information about the hotel if there are any questions and answers. So please try to answer them as quickly as possible. And then from the time to time, monitor what is actually inside here. So if I go to the website, then we will visit the hotel. The hotel is located in, in Bayreuth. So you can Google that if you have never been to this city or you have no idea where it's located. It's a nice place. It's let's say it's like more, it's a modern hotel. It's part of the brewery. Okay. And we will go now to see that. So for me, it today is um, the topic is how can I as quickly as possible with the most easiest way to make the booking. So what I actually find uh, um, and what is needed um, in 2023, even though 2024, anytime I'm scrolling down, that on the top, there is that sticky menu already visible. So I can, from any position of that scroll down website, I can always click on the menu. Okay. So let's go and make the booking somewhere. Okay. In Immediately after the first screen, and as I'm starting to scroll, I'm going to get my book a room button. So let's see do, 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 what we have here. I can see the rooms. I can see the label at the bottom talking about the green sign hotel. And I also see the reviews. Okay, sounds good. So let's pick one of the whole one, one room. 
I'm getting some information about the room, some pictures, and I still always have on that scroll uh, um, window on the screen, I always have these kind of buttons. They are following me, you see? So I found it very nice. Let's call it this, let's go. And then we are we are, have ended up in the booking engine. We have already, there is a pre-entered information about, give me a second, someone is trying to call me, but I cannot really do that. Okay, then I need to screen sharing again, sorry. <laughs> this is why when you do the screening um, from the mobile and then someone is starting to call. So give me a second, no audio, and then co-host, all right, and then share screen, screen. Start broadcasting. Okay, here we are. So, so we are back in the booking engine. Um, there is pre setup of two adults. I have uh, let us pick up, you know, some date, and I have some options here. First, what I see and what is kind of taking my, you know, bringing my attention or taking my attention is that the first, I am in the English booking engine. Let me see that I'm saying the, yes, I'm in a book, English booking engine, but I see the description in German language. Interesting. So this is what I would really take care of, um, changing and um, translation. So if I'm on, on an English website, on an English booking engine, so I'm getting also the English content because I can, I speak German, but assuming that many uh, of the clients, they, they don't speak German. And then um, it may be kind of confusing a bit, okay? The other thing what I have seen is that the first room I am getting is the room which is uh, for with wheelchair access, the uh, barrier fry. So I believe that the way how the this booking engine is being structured is the lowest available price but which is also on a uh, double room standard so i'm kind of asking myself why the this room is the first one and not maybe the second or the third one but let's say there is some you know reason behind that so we are take we are taking it as it is we have one two three four room types if I go, if I would like to see a little bit more about the pricing, so I can click on that and I'm just getting the information. I have also information about the cancellation policy. I see the cancellation policy is somehow in English, the rest is in German. So it's a combination of what is, um, let's say pre-populated from that settings and what is part of the rate. So information in the German is part of the rate and the rest is set up of the price, which is, in those you know, uh, languages like automatically connected. So let's go for this. And I can see the at the bottom, you see the proceed. I was trying to look for the button and this button was not really visible for me at the first sight. So now I can see where I can click. So I would suggest that this should be with a different color because it should be very clear and easy for a person to simply make the booking. Then I can go for some extras. Okay, I'll go for baby bed. Good, I have only one baby, it's enough. And I'm going to the next uh, page, the page number four. And I'm about to enter some personal data. And then most like in a second, in the next stage, I will be you know, asked to give a payment. So I can, let's say, try to complete the information about me my email, okay, my telephone number, let's take something, be quick, street is going to be street, number is going to be one, postcode, clear city, let's do Berlin, for example, and then 
that's it. I have no idea when I'm going to be enter your salutation. Okay, good, good, good. Sorry. Miss, Mrs. And then I'll go and I get the final confirmation. So this is where what I have just, what I'm about to book and I'm entering the payment details. Okay. So this is what I have mentioned. It is always part of the reservation system. I will be pre-authorizing my credit card. And because it's the South Chicken Hotel, it's everything is kind of clear. Okay, good. Let's try another one. I have um let's me let let me take this hotel. So let me first switch to English. Let's go for English. Perfect. Oh, it's can you see that there is the sticky menu again? So when I was on the top, I have seen the logo. I have seen the menu and the language. When I am moving down, so you can simply see that the sticky menu is on the top and I can, from any place of the website, I can make the booking. So the website seems to be nice on a mobile with some highlights over here, some offers. Oh, there are special packages already, some special offers. I can easily search within those offers and I can scroll down. I have some rooms. So let's book something online. Okay, here we are. So we already see that there are some dates where the hotel is not available, some rooms. So let's take some arrival departure. I need to move myself again up. Done. Number of adults. Okay, let's take a baby. Last time we had also had a baby. So let's see how it is going to look like. So I'm going to get the standard room. I'm going to get comfort room. Already I see the prices from from, which means the hotel is um, applying uh, most likely dynamic pricing because we are playing with the prices. So let's go for the for this one, for example, comfort. And I will be getting the option to select from the pricing. So overnight stay with breakfast with free cancellation or maybe discover uh, mob work. So let's take the first one because this is what I want. And how the things goes. Okay, I see the prepayment zero, 271. I can have a detailed calculation. I can even see in a detailed calculation that the price has been changed. It's nice to have an overview. I have some information about that there is a free cancellation policy. I can choose, I can pick one of the extras. It's nice, it shows me also the, uh, the picture, so it's kind of clear, baby crib. I would like to get it right now. See, I have our gift uh, for your booking. Let's see what I'm going to get. I'm going to get a drink, okay. Okay, sounds good. I have booked it. And let's go to the next level. And I am here to finalize my booking. So entering the data, there is a pay uh, the full amount and property. So it looks like I don't even need to enter anything, the credit card details, because this is, let's say the last, this is the last stage. So it means um, no prepayment, no credit card authorization. Yeah, it is the way it is. I am not really a fan of that because it may happen um, that we're going to be having no shows. Eventually, there is no, you know, guarantee. Yeah, um, I would rather see the option to have the, the two or three options, how the client or how we can actually secure at least one night uh one night of the uh, stay, eventually 50% or actually some kind of prepayment to si simply secure the booking. I can imagine that maybe for this hotel, it is prior to the, um, because it is, I have chosen the date 20th of December until the 22nd of December. It's not really that um, high demanded period. So maybe this is the way how the hotel is simply trying to capture any 
booking coming to the property, but still, if I'm ready to go, I don't simply need. Um, it's nice to have no cancellations. It's it's of course, but also it is very nice to for us hoteliers to have a some kind of guarantee. So I would suggest to any hotel to rethink the options to have a guarantee. Um, you can definitely, when it comes to the, the revenue management, you can simply make the pricing decision, what kind of price will be linked with uh, certain cancellation policies or prepayment policies. This is part of the revenue management. So if you would like to learn a little bit more about that, you know where to find me because I can guide you how to restructure that and make it work for you, for your dynamic, uh, for your dynamic pricing. So, so it's like in line with other prices and also that it fits your direct booking strategies. And also if you would like to take care of the rate parity, then we will also make sure that it is somehow linked to your rate parity as well. So it was actually example today about two ways how we can make the booking engine. I always say that choosing the booking engine is a question of who you are, what type of the hotel you are and how you are selling. If you are selling rather special offers and then rooms, because you are maybe resort or you have too many special offers, you, you have uh, more prices available, prepayment pricing, uh, three for uh, four for three and all these kind of special promotions or you actually attract through the packages. So it's better to show first packages than showing the rooms. Some city hotels, they simply show only the rooms and then they offer the client the option to book the room with some prepayment cancellation policies or eventually without anything. So you have seen quite a lot of um, differences between the booking engine. There is no, let's say, the perfect way how you can choose the booking engine. It always depends on what kind of hotel uh, you are, how you are selling, what is your intention? Because choosing the booking engine is crucial for a success of your online sales. And if you are in a situation that you would like to, let's say, stabilize your distribution strategies, you would like to, let's say, optimize your costs when it comes to the commissions you are paying. So the booking engine is really crucial because you can definitely redirect the clients and make the booking or let the client make the booking in a very easy way. And it has to be at this moment very easy also in a mobile because it should be uh, quick. It doesn't have to include too many steps. And in general, it has to you know, give you this feeling that, that you can trust the hotel that you are able to find the information and everything is clear and precise information is inside and there are no doubts about that because this is also something what is keeping our clients on um, other distribution channels because they feel more or they trust the partners more than they trust our hotel so choosing a booking engine is also part of the trust and we are building the trust um, also through choosing the right partner so this was my, um, let's say, short um, demonstration. Hotel audit, uh, hotel website audit, it's not only about the pictures, it's not only about the text, but it's about the tools you are using to convert your client who is your user, who is visiting your website into the client and you know, co convincing to make the reservation on your website. So, let me see now is the space for any questions so on a zoom call we have a few colleagues and then in online let me um, i'm preparing the if there are any comments here we are no on a facebook doesn't matter it's a good and in a zoom call if there are any questions, let me know. I'm still here for another 10, 20 seconds. And then um, we will see each other. If you are part of uh, my mentorship program, so the consulting, they are always uh, the live course. They are always on Thursdays. So I'll see you on Thursday, eventually. 
next week on Wednesday at 11.30 for any additional audit. So you can definitely, uh, if you would like me to do any kind of audit, please let me know. You can reach me out on a Facebook, on a Instagram. Uh, I'm also available. I have a community on, on a school, so you can have a look and check and connect because you will be able also see the recordings from the past audits and inspire yourself for optimizing your website. Okay. Thank you very much. I got to thank you very much. And again, have a few more ideas. Yes, it's this is about that. It's about uh, collecting the ideas and sharing what is actually working the best. But always remember, there is no golden rule that one booking engine is going to fit to every single hotel. This is why we have many providers and it is up to us to choose the right one, which is fitting us and our champagne client very the one we are actually, uh, you know, uh, not we are actually attracting, okay? So there is a question, will you audit my hotel later on? Yes, of course, I will. Olivera, you are part of the program. There will be, we will be, uh, you know, taking care of that during the live call. Eventually we can do it uh, next time, okay? So um, Wednesday, 11.30, I'll do always the audits and I will be able to take care of your website as well, okay? So thank you very much everyone for joining today's call. Who wants to be live in a Zoom as well? Please let me uh, let me know and I'll get you the link to the community and Zoom link so you can um, join us anytime. So thank you again, have a lovely day and I'll see you next week, bye. Bye.